Hello friends, wizards, oh, hang on a minute, you can't see me. Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles, welcome to my car tour. <laughs> Okay guys, so a lot of you have been asking for an updated car tour since I got my Tesla Model 3. And here she is. Now she has been named. She is called Great Aunt Tesla, like Great Aunt Tessie from Harry Potter, Ronald's auntie. Um, and it was one of you guys that named her, so thank you very much. She is actually named in the computer. But I thought I would just show you around the car. So this is a fully electric, it's, a, it's, an, it's an EV, it's an electric car, so there's no bat, well, there's no batteries, there's a lot of batteries. Um, so there's no fuel, there's no engine, there's no nothing under the hood, which I'll show you very soon. In fact, I can show you now. So a cool thing about this car is that there is an app, and on the app, there are a lot of things that you use on a day, today basis. So yes, I've got the app and you can open both the frunk, which is the front trunk, or in the UK, we can call it the fruit because we actually call our trunks boots over here. So I can open this for you like magic. Look at that. Um, and as a very normal person, I have got my, <laughs> my Gryffindor robes and a wand in, in my front. Yeah, very normal. Um, I've also got all of my charging cables and things. So that's my type two cable, which I can use at some chargers. We've got a three pin plug charger in there and some emergency stuff. Will I fit in the front? No, I will not. I just about fit it, fit it. I just about fit in the trunk. So yes, that is the frunk. It's very weird not having anything under here except the washer fluid. That's it. That is literally it. It's really, really weird. So yeah, I, that's the frunk. Let's show you the trunk, which you've briefly seen already. So here we are at the trunk or the boot if you're from the UK, but you can also open this from your phone. Um, so it's really cool if you need to open it before, say you got like arms full of shopping and you need to open your boot prior to getting to your car, you can literally just be like, oh, just open. Like, it's like, a, it's a magic car. Um, the boot is very large. Ignore all the mess that is inside. Gryffindor tie, just, just what you want in your boot. Um, this boot is huge and there's also extra storage underneath. So you can put all of your, you can put a Hogwarts trunk in there probably. Many things. Um, I did buy the little weatherproof mat because I'm terrible with cars. My last car, I, um, I spilt a flower pot full of soil in my boot and I just left it there. Um, it was still in there when I sold it. <laughs> So that is the boot slash trunk. And to shut this, you can either do it directly from your app or there's this little magic button here that you can just be like, boop. Da -da 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 shuts itself. That's how we like it. Now, most of the charging that this car does is actually at home. So I did get an official Tesla connector, wall connector put onto my garage. Um, so the charger is actually in the car itself, but this is quite magical. So you get your little thing and you're like, there's a little button here and you can be like, Doo! and it opens and then you can just plug her in. And then she does all her charging overnight. And it's like having a full tank of petrol, gas, diesel, whatever you want to call it. You are always fully charged, ready to go every morning, which for me is it's amazing. I hated filling up my car. Um, I don't miss it in the slightest. And yeah, she's got a little charging port. You may notice that the alloys on this car look completely different from most cars on the road. And that is because they have got aerodynamic hubcap thingamadoodles. Technical, technical term. I know. So I guess next is how do you even get into this car? Now there are two ways. It does come with, well actually no, it doesn't have a physical key. It actually has a key card, which looks like this. So it looks like a credit card. You keep it in your wallet and you just boop it. Now this works on the driver's side, which is on the right hand side in England. Now there is a panel here and to open your car, you can either use the key card and she opens like that. Or if we lock it again, 
There's also keyless entry. So my phone is actually my car key. So I never forget my car key because I've always got my phone on me. And because it is linked via Bluetooth and it knows that I'm here, I can just open the car because I've got my phone, which is very high tech. <sighs> Welcome to great aunt Tesla. <laughs> so yeah, this is my great aunt Tesla, my model three. Now, as I said about the keys, if you're just using the key card, where it lives is actually just behind these cup holders. That is where it has to be if you've just got the key card. Otherwise the car is not gonna run. But otherwise, if you just got your phone, as long as it's in the car, it's all good. Now, I guess I could start off by saying that this car has wireless charging, which blew my mind. Um, so you can just put your, one of your phones on your friend's phone onto these pads and it charges. So you don't need to plug it in. Though if you don't have wireless charging, inside the center console, which I will talk about more in a bit, there is a lead and there is US, two USB-C ports in there as well, which is pretty awesome. So yeah. There is a lot of storage in this car and I actually bought this separately. This doesn't come with the Model 3s. They used to in the pre-facelift versions, but I bought this from Amazon. So this is just somewhere to store my glasses because I need them to see and also my sunglasses and also my teeny tiny little penis as well as my teeny tiny little acorn. They're my little car mascot, so they live in there. So this then acts as a little drawer so I can scoop it on back. Now currently, this is like a huge storage. It goes really deep. I can get most of my arm in there. So I've got my hand sanitizer that lives in there. I've got my masks, my emergency mask in case I forget that one. I've also got some hand wipes in there. That's all that's in here for now. This is kind of like my little COVID-19 hatch, <laughs> which is a bit depressing. But yeah, so that's the first bit of storage. We've got two cup holders here, which is really cool, nice and big. And then under the armrest is even more storage. Like how much storage does one person need? Got my Tic Tacs and then I've got my little Niffler. Now this little guy was made by one of you guys and he's lived in pretty much every car that I've owned. So I thought I would carry on the tradition and it's now my Tesla Niffler. And I've got just some random bits of tissues in there. My National Trust Pass. Um, but either way, a lot of storage. Now the storage doesn't end there. There is also a glove box in here. Now the coolest part about the glove box is that you, there's no handle on it. You will see there's like, how do I get in here? Well, there is a glove box button, which if I press it, magical things happen. And oh, what is this in here? A sponsorship, I hear you say. That's right. This video is sponsored by Wild Natural Deodorant. Okay, let's have a little look. I've got the case. So here it is. It says Cherry on it, which is my name, just in case you didn't know. Now this is a reusable case, so you can fill it with all of the Wild Deodorant refills, and you can get it engraved with whatever name you want. It's perfect for a gift. And I believe I've got loads of refills in here that all smell like different things. What are these? We've got orange zest. It's like they know me. We're opening the deodorant. We're putting it in. It's that easy. And then we can wind it up. And there's our deodorant. It does smell rather spectacular and very orangey. Now all of Wild Deodorant's refills are 100% biodegradable and it's completely plastic free. They're cruelty free, they are vegan, so they're made with all good stuff. There are so many different scents and they even have ones that are for sensitive skin, which is great. And something that's pretty special about these are that they're made with magnesium instead of baking soda, which means no angry armpits for you. If you'd like to check out Wild Deodorant for yourself and check out all their lovely scents, then head over to their website at wearewild.com. And I also have a discount code for you guys, which is cherry, and that'll get you 20% off. And a big shout out to Wild for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna smell great. Back to the car tour. Now, unfortunately, the glove box button then doesn't reclose it. You do have to 
manually shut it, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's something I can live with. Now, something that I did pay a little bit extra for in this car was the white interior. You, it normally standard, it comes with black seats, and then this bit is kind of, um, it's kind of like a weird brushed wood kind of effect, which I just personally wasn't a fan of. I love the kind of clean, sterile, white aesthetic. It's always been very me, so I was always gonna get the white interior and I gotta say it's comfortable now something that I fangirled about when I got this car was how the seats move because these seats are electric and they've got bun warmers that's right this car has got not one not two but five heated seats they've got them in the back as well which I mean, I don't sit in the back of the car very often, but I'm very pleased that I can give my friends, family, whoever's in my car, a very warm bun. <laughs> that's, that's really weird. But yes, these are electric seats, and to move them, there are some little kind of nubbins on the side of the seats that when you move them, up, down, forward, backwards, it will fully move your seats. There we go, we're moving the back. How do we move? Oh, we're moving the seat forward. Oh, you want to go back a little bit? Okay, that's fine. Whatever you wish, because you can just move your seats. Um, speaking of that, I'm not the only one that drives this car. I do allow cameraman Chris to drive it, and he will drive us to events and stuff. And it has profile settings. So currently, we are set on Chris. So if I set it to me, she moves! The steering wheel will move, the seat will move to short ass mode because I'm only five foot three. Um, and obviously when he gets in, it moves backwards because he's got longer legs than I do. So yes, that's the fun bit of the interior. And it, all, it just feels very spaceship-like. It's very, there's a lot of room. There's a lot of room because there's just nothing here except a screen, which is quite nice. Uh, fun fact, when I first got this car, I was like, oh, my, my hands feel hot. And I was just told that I was nervous. I was like, yeah, probably I'm a bit nervous. First time driving my new car. Um, it's got a heated steering wheel as well, which is quite jazzy. Um, did quite like that. Um, just was, yeah, turns out I wasn't anxious. Just had clammy hands from the heated steering wheel. <laughs> Now, I guess the final thing that I could talk about in the front and the interior of this car is if you have a little look up, the whole ceiling is a glass roof. Even in the back of the car, it is a glass roof. So it's not just a sunroof, it's glass. And it's just very nice. Like you could look at the stars out of there. I can see all of the clouds. I can see all of the birds. There's a bird, a little swallow. That's quite cute. He's having a little, yeah, it's quite nice. I do quite like a glass roof. But less of that, let's talk about the fun bit, which is the screen and the computer of how this car runs. Oh, what are you doing back there? <laughs> so here we are, the screen of dreams. This is basically all of the controls for the car in this one screen. So you can see my car here. I can open the front, the trunk, I can lock it. I can do many things from this screen. You can also see my charge here. So I've got 237 miles left, which is honestly, it's enough to get you many places. Now, one of my favorite things in this car, which I'll start with is, let's say you're on a little date, um, which is rare for me, not gonna lie. But yeah, we can put it on romance mode and then we can get cozy. And then we've got a very romantic fire. Oh yeah, and fun fact about this is the warm air actually comes out of the vents. So it feels like you're at a real log fire. What more could you want in life? Now, there's also some other treats in here. And this is one of my favorites. It's definitely one of my favorite things that this car can do. It's so silly and unnecessary. But so this is like the fart bit. It's called emissions. You can fart on turn signals. So every time you're indicating in the car, it will kind of play random farts at you. It's very funny. Um, there's also fart on demand. So when you're driving, if someone doesn't know that you've got this setting on, you can press this little wheel on the steering wheel and it will make it fart whenever you want. But you can also whoopee cushion in the car. <laughs> Um, and not only inside the car, we can also do it outside the car, which I'm sure my neighbors are going to enjoy. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a little 
why this exists, I will never know, but I can make all my passengers fart whenever I like, and I can fart when I'm indicating. So I quite enjoy that. There are some other bits and bobs in here. There's a sketch pad. You can pretend you're driving on Mars, because why not? There you go. You can pretend that you're on Mars, and when you're driving, the little Mars buggy will drive around. So fun, fun times. Um, there's also a few other bits and bobs, but that's the toy box. Um, there's also a few other cool things in here. There is entertainment so you can play games in here. One of the coolest games actually is beach buggy racing. Um, again, another really unnecessary feature to have in a car, but if you were to play this, you can then use the actual steering wheel as the car in the game, so it will actually drive the car in beach buggy racing. Very random indeed. Um, if you're waiting for your car to charge at a Tesla supercharger and you're a bit bored, maybe you've got 20 minutes, half an hour to burn, probably not that long, it's really quick. You can have a watch of your Netflix, your YouTube videos, Twitch if you're into your streaming. Um, I think that's pretty cool. What else have we got? We've also got web so you can do the internet we've got charging so you see how many miles i've got you can unlock the port from in here there's just so much that this car does you can see how much energy you've used there's also cameras that you can use whilst you're driving to see who's behind you but there's cameras full 360 around this car which is cool so if your car's parked in maybe a dodgy area you can then put on sentry mode which means that anytime someone comes near the car or walks past it or is being just a bit sketchy it will record each time an incident like that happens which i think is pretty cool something else that you might find cool with this car is how the fans work um, i was really impressed with this you can basically move how the air flows for passenger and driver's side just thought that was pretty nifty. I've never seen anything like it. It's quite cool. Um, if you're a dog owner or a pet owner and you go shopping and you need to leave your beloved pet in the car, um, a lot, I know most of the time that's a no, no, don't do that because it can get really hot, especially abroad. But here, there's actually got a dog mode. When the car is locked, it will say something like, my dog's fine, the aircon's on, this is how hot it is in the car. And that screen will stay on to show that your dog is happy and it's fine, it's not struggling or anything. And I think that's really cool. There's also camp mode here if you'd like to camp in your car, which you can do. This car, this car is huge. When the seats are down, you can actually get a bed to go in the back of the car and it turns it into like a little camper van, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so that's all of the air stuff. As I said before, you can also get heated seats in not only the front, but also all three back seats. So I'm gonna turn all those off though. Let's just turn all off, there you go. So I can warm many passengers at the same time, which is quite nice. And there's the heated steering wheel that made me think that my hands were sweaty when I was driving. <laughs> and yeah, and obviously you can play all of your music. So here we have Spotify, so I can listen to all of my favorite podcasts, Shagged Married Annoyed, shout out to Chris and Rosie, because I love their podcast. Uh, what else have I been listening to? A lot i listen to a lot of ash nico she's my favorite at the moment listen to a lot of harry potter soundtracks harry potter sleep billy eilish the lot you can get it all here um which is nice that it's just there and you can entertain yourself whilst you're driving so i guess something that's pretty cool about this is changing your steering wheel settings so if you were to go boop you can then move where your steering wheel is just by this one button so i can bring it in as well as out and i can also wind it up like how cool is that like it's just so automated it's crazy like that's just crazy to me like it's just like moving it's so cool. And I guess a few other bits and bobs that might be worth mentioning, which I thought was witchcraft when I first ever test drove a Tesla, was the pedals down here. You've got your brake, which is the big one there, and then you've got your accelerator there, but it's actually one foot driving. It's very rare that I'll use the brake. So when I want to go, I will accelerate with one foot. And if I want to slow down, I'll just lift it up a little bit and the car will come to a full brake if you're completely take your foot off it will stop itself it will hold it's 
unreal. It's like nothing else. I'm sure other automatics can maybe do that, but I've personally never experienced anything like it. It's very, very cool. Um, on the stalk here, how you drive, honestly, it really is as easy as putting your foot on the brake and then just putting this stalk all the way down into drive and then you literally go. It's kind of like a go-kart. That's how I explain it to everyone. It is like a go-kart, an expensive and big go-kart because it just goes and stops. There's nothing else to it. There's no manual gears, which I've been using for the last God knows how many years and having to stress about that and up hills. It just goes and honestly, it drives like a dream. I think it goes from zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.2 seconds. You can upgrade and pay a little bit of money to get it to go that fast in 3.7 seconds, I think, but it's probably not that worth it for me, to be honest, because I tend to drive like a grandma anyway. Another thing which I got confused when I first ever got into a Tesla was how do I get out? There's like no car handles and it's actually a button release. Now in the pre-facelift versions, they actually just had a line on here, so it was even more confusing. So I always used to try to use the manual, like manual release thing, which you do not ever pull those, you can, you can damage the car. So it's always the button here which unlocks the car. So you literally just go bloop and then it'll kind of open for you, which is kind of cool. So that's kind of everything that I think there is to show you about my new car. Um, honestly, I've fallen in love with it. I've had it for a few weeks now. I am thoroughly enjoying driving it more than any other car that I've ever had. Um, to the point I drove to Watford for the first time. I drove basically to London on my own and I found it very easy to drive and yeah, it is very enjoyable. But if you have any questions about the car or anything, do leave them in a comment down below. Um, just think it is the future. And I feel like I'm doing my bit because I used to drive a diesel, which isn't very good for pollution and everything. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you've got this far, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my car tour of great aunt tesla <laughs> that's a tongue twister say that three times fast but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a magical thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye it's time to go to mcdonald's girl <laughs> mm.